In this video, we shall discuss how to calculate the profit, new profit sharing ratio and sacrificing ratio when a new partner is admitted into the partnership firm. So let's move on to this video. Okay, before moving on to the problems for calculating the uh, new profit ratio or sacrificing ratio, you should understand that based on the information given in the question only, we are going to alter the method of calculation. How are we going to calculate the problem? That will be based on the information given in the question. So as soon as you read a question for calculating uh, profit sharing ratio, you have to see whether the share of the incoming partner is given. Incoming partner is nothing but new partner. When the new partner is admitted, if his share is given in the question, then you have to check for the sacrifice of the old partner. If the share of the new partner is given in the question, check for the sacrifice made by the old partners. The old partners uh, may have sacrificed in an unequal proportion or their sacrifice may be in an equal proportion or the entire sacrifice may be made by only one partner. So if the sacrifice proportion is given, it may be either unequal or equal sacrifice or only one partner might have sacrificed. On the other hand, in some problems, the sacrifice of the old partners will not be given. Okay, then the other situation is if the share of the new partner is not given in the question. If the share of the new partner is given, then we will check for the sacrifice that is being made and the sacrifice may be either unequal, equal or shared by one partner. And at times the sacrifice of the old partner will not be given. The next thing is, when the share of the incoming partner itself is not given, then how are we going to calculate? So in this video, I will be explaining how to calculate profit sharing ratio and sacrificing ratio in all these different situations. In all these different situations, I have taken one one problem as example and I have showed you how to work out the answer. Before moving on to the problems, the formula that you should remember, new ratio, the formula for new ratio is old ratio minus sacrificing ratio and the formula for calculating sacrificing ratio is old ratio minus new ratio. Okay, so now let's move on to the problems. This is the first question that I have taken. A and B are partners in a firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2. They admit C into the partnership with one sixth share of profit. Calculate the new profit sharing ratio and sacrificing ratio. Okay, read the question. This is the first proportion that is given 3 is to 2. What is this? This is the old ratio. This is the old ratio of the partners A and B. C is the new partner. C is the new partner. His share is 1 by 6. That's all. Only this information is given. So, the new partner share is given, but the sacrifice proportion is not given. So, in this situation, how are we going to calculate the answer? In this situation, what we are going to do is, we are going to assume that the profit of the partnership firm is equal to 1. The profit of the partnership firm is 1. If the profit is 1, what is C's share? he will be taking 1 by 6. So, if the profit is 1, he will be taking 1 by 6 of the profit. The remaining will be shared by A and B. So, 1 minus 1 by 6. 6 into 1 is 6 minus 1 divided by 6. So, the remaining share will be 5 by 6. This will be shared between A and B. So, the remaining share that will be shared between A and B will be 5 is 5 by 6. So, A and B will be taking 5 by 6 of the share. This 5 by 6 will be shared between A and B in their old ratio. Based on their old ratio, they will share this 5 by 6 ratio. So, how to calculate that? So, we will calculate for A first. For calculating A first, I told you they will share this new proportion based on their old ratio. What is the old ratio? For A, the old ratio is 3 by 5 and for B, the old ratio is 2 by 5. How did I get this 5? This is nothing but 3 plus 2. Okay. 
Hayes old ratio is 3 by 5. On this ratio, he will take up the share of 5 by 6. So, multiply it. 5 threes are 15. 6 into 5 will give you 30. Then B. B's old ratio is 2 by 5 into 5 by 6. 5 into 2, 10. 6 into 5, 30. This is B's share. Now, let us calculate the share of C. C's share is given in the question. Uh, he will uh, share one sixth of the profit. So, 1 by 6. Here, look here, the denominator is 30 in both the cases. For A and B, the denominator is 30. So, for C also, we have to bring the denominator to 30. If I have to bring the denominator into 30, what should I do? I should multiply 6 by 5. 6 into 5 will give me 30. So, I am multiplying by 5 with both the numerator and the denominator. Numerator also I am multiplying 5 and denominator also I am multiplying by 5. The answer that I get is 5 ones are 5, 6 fives are 30. So now common proportion 30 in all the cases. So the new ratio is equal to 15 is to 10 is to 5. All these values are multiples of 5. So, 5 threes are 15, 5 twos are 10, 5 ones are 5. So, the new ratio is 3 is to 2 is to 1. Now, let us calculate the sacrificing ratio. Sacrificing ratio, I have already taught you the formula. Old ratio minus new ratio. So, what is the old ratio? See, we have written here the old ratio for A and B. For A, the old ratio is 3 by 5 minus new ratio. What is the new ratio? Look here, we have calculated. 3 is to 2 is to 5. So, for A, the old, new ratio is 3 divided by 3 plus 2 plus 1. Look here, we have 3, 2, 1. So, 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 1, 6. Okay. Now, we have to take a common denominator. So, cross multiplying. We are cross multiplying. 6 threes are 18. 5 threes are 15. 6 into 5 will give you 30. Is equal to 18 minus 15 will give you 3. 3 divided by 30. In the same way, we shall calculate for B. The old ratio for B which we have calculated here is 2 by 5 minus new ratio. What is the new ratio? Look here it is 2. 2 by 6. Again we are cross multiplying. If you cross multiply 6 twos are 12, 5 twos are 10. 6 into 5 will give you 30. You will get 12 minus 10, it is 2. So, 2 by 30. This is the sacrificing ratio. It is nothing but 3 is to 2. Sacrificing ratio. So, this is the sacrificing ratio. This is the second question that I have taken. A and B were partners in a firm sharing profits in the ratio 3 is to 2. They admitted C for 3 by 7th share which he took 2 7th from A and 1 7th from B. Calculate new profit sharing ratio and sacrificing ratio. Okay. In this question, this 3 by 2 is what? This 3 by 2 is the old ratio. C is the new partner and 3 by 7 is the new partner's share. This 3 by 7th, he is taking 2 by 7 from A. A is sacrificing 2 by 7. And B is sacrificing 1 by 7. Okay. Now, let us write the old ratio. Old ratio is equal to 3 by 5 for A is to 2 by 5 for B. How did I get this 5? This is 3 plus 2. Old ratio 3 plus 2. Okay. What is the sacrificing ratio? Look here. 
for a it is 2 by 7 and for b it is 1 by 7. So for a it is 2 by 7 and for b it is 1 by 7. Now let us calculate the new ratio. I have told you the formula for new ratio. Old ratio minus sacrificing ratio. So we will calculate for a first. Old ratio of a is 3 by 5. See we have calculated here and the sacrificing ratio is 2 by 7 minus 2 by 7. So for taking common denominator we are going to cross multiply 7 into 3. 7 3s are 21 minus 5 into 2 will give you 10. 7 5s are 35. 21 minus 10 will give you 11 divided by 35. Now let's calculate for B. For B the old ratio is 2 by 5. The sacrificing ratio what we have written is 1 by 7. So 1 by 7. Again cross multiplying 7 2s are 14. 5 1s are 5. 7 5s are 35. 14 minus 5 is 9 divided by 35. Now calculating for C. What is C sh uh, share? He is taking 3 by 7. He is admitted for 3 by 7th share. Okay. This denominator is 7 but we need the denominator of 35. So if we multiply 7 by 5 we will get 35. So both denominator and numerator we are multiplying by 5. 5 3s are 15. 7 5s are 35. Now write the new ratio. New ratio is equal to 11 is to 9 is to 15. This is the new ratio. Okay. So I hope you understood this. The next question. X and Y are partners sharing profits in 5 is to 3. This 5 is to 3 is what? This is the old ratio. They are admitting Z. Z is the new partner. And the share of Z is one tenth share, which he acquired equally. In the previous question, it was unequal proportion. Here they are, uh, uh, they are contributing equally. X and Y are contributing equally. We have to calculate the new profit sharing ratio and sacrificing ratio. Okay, what is Z's share? Z is taking one by ten. Okay. This one-tenth is contributed, is sacrificed by X and Y equally. Isn't it? So one-tenth. Out of this one-tenth, half is given by X and half is given by Y. Z is going to take one-tenth share of profit. This one-tenth share of profit is sacrificed. Half is sacrificed by X and half is sacrificed by Y. So 1 by 10 into 1 by 2. 1 ones are 1. 10 into 2, 20. Why am I doing this as 1 by 2? Because they have contributed equally. There are two partners and the two partners are equally sacrificing. So, we are dividing it by half. Is equal to 1 by 20. Okay. After calculating this, we will calculate the old ratio. What is the old ratio? Old ratio is given in the question 5 divided by 8 for A for X and for Y it is 3 divided by 8. Okay, what is the sacrificing ratio? We have already done here. Both of them are sacrificing equally 1 by 20 is to 1 by 20. Now we know the old ratio and sacrificing ratio. How will we calculate the new ratio for A? It is old ratio minus sacrificing ratio. What is the old ratio? Look here for A the old ratio is 5 by 8. What is the sacrificing ratio for A? It is 1 by 20. Okay. Now we are cross multiplying 20 into 5. We will get 100 minus 8 into 5. 1. So 8. 8 into 20 we will get 160. Okay. 
So 100 minus 8 we will get 92 divided by 160. In the same way for B, old ratio minus sacrificing ratio. For B the old ratio is 3 by 8 and sacrificing ratio is 1 by 20. So 3 by 8 minus 1 by 20. Cross multiply 20 into 3 will give you 60 minus 8 into 1 will give you 8 divided by 20 into 8 will give you 160. 60 minus 8 is 52 divided by 160. Now Z. What is Z's share? Look into the question is Z is taking 1 tenth share. So 1 by 10. But we want the common den denominator of 160. So if you multiply this by 16, we will get 160. So numerator and denominator both we are multiplying by 16. 16 into 1 will give you 16. 10 into 16 will give you 160. So now the new ratio is equal to 92 is to 52 is to 16. All these are multiples of 4, isn't it? Uh, 4 into 23 will give you 92. 4 into 13 will give you 62. 4 into 4 will give you 16. So the new ratio is 23 is to 13 is to 4. And the sacrificing ratio we have already calculated here. It is the sacrificing ratio is equal to 1 is to 1. Okay, okay, this is the next question. A, B and C are partners sharing profits in the ratio of 2 is to 2 is to 1. So, this is the old ratio. 2 is to 2 is to 1 is the old ratio. They admit D. D is the new partner and the new partner is getting 1 by 8th share which he acquired entirely from A. So, the new part partner's share is given and only one partner is sacrificing only it uh, only one partner is sacrificing the share of profit so now how to calculate this old ratio is equal to 2 by 5 how did i get this 5 2 plus 2 plus 1 so 2 by 5 for a 2 by 5 for b and 1 by 5 for c this is the old ratio what is the sacrificing ratio? The sacrificing ratio is 1 by 8. How did I get this 1 by 8? The share of the new partner is the sacrificing ratio here. Why? Because the total share of the new partner is uh, being entirely sacrificed from A. Only A is contributing towards new share. So, only for A we have sacrificing ratio. For the other two partners we don't have sacrificing ratio. And the sacrificing ratio is the total share of the new partner. Sacrificing ratio is the total share of the new partner. Okay. Now let's calculate the new ratio. New ratio is very simple. Old ratio minus sacrificing ratio. Okay. For A 2 by 5 minus 1 by 8 cross multiply 8 2's are 16 5 1's are 5 8 into 5 will give you 40 so the answer will be 11 divided by 40 for b the old ratio is 2 by 5 B does not sacrifice. See here only A is sacrificing. B and C is not sacrificing. So we are not going to minus the sacrificing ratio. But we have to bring the denominator to 40. If we have to bring 5 to 40, we have to multiply it by 8. 5, 8 fives are 40. So we are multiplying both the numerator and denominator by 8. 8 twos are 16. 5 into 8 will give you 40. In the same way for C, what is uh, C's old ratio? It is 1 by 5. We have to bring the denominator to 40. So multiplying it by 8 by 8. The answer is 8 1's are 8. 5 8's are 40. Is this clear? So now D's share. What is D's share? 1 by 8. If you have to bring it to 40, you have to multiply it by 5. 
So the answer is 5 ones are 5. 8 into 5 will give you 40. Now what is the new ratio? The new ratio is equal to 11 is to 16 is to 8 is to 5. This is the new ratio. The sacrificing ratio is only for A. What is the sacrificing ratio? As I have already told you, it is 1 by 8. This is the sacrificing ratio and it is only for A. Because other partners do not sacrifice. So, this is the sacrificing ratio. Okay, this is the last question that I have taken. A and B are partners in a firm sharing profits in the ratio of 5 is to 2. So, this is the old ratio. They admit C as a new partner. C is the new partner. A surrenders one seventh of his share in favor of C and B surrenders two seventh of her share in favor of C. Calculate the new profit sharing ratio. So in this question, C old ratio is given. C is the new partner, but his ratio, the ratio of the new partner is not given. In the previous questions and all, the uh, share of the new partner was given. But here the share of the new partner is not given. But the surrender value, the surrender is given. Surrender of A is, A surrenders one seventh share in favor of C and B surrenders two by seventh share in favor of C. So in this situation, how are we going to calculate? First, let's write the old ratio. Old ratio is equal to 5 divided by 7. How did I get this 7? It is 5 plus 2. 5 by 7 for A and 2 by 7 for B. This is the old ratio. Now, what is the proportion that they are surrendering? Surrender. How much do they surrender? It is 1 by 7 for A and 2 by 7 for B. Now let us calculate the sacrificing ratio. How much do they sacrifice? Five by seven. The old ratio is five by seven. Out of which one by seven, they are surrendering in favor of the other partner. So what will be the sacrificing ratio? Five ones are five. Seven sevens are forty-nine. This is for A. For B, it is. 2 by 7 is the old ratio. In this old ratio, how much does B surrenders? B surrenders 2 by 7. So, 2 2s are 4, 7 7s are 49. This is the value surrendered. This is the sacrificing ratio of B. Okay, this 1 by 7 and 2 by 7 is not the sacrificing ratio. It is the surrendering value. A is surrendering 1 7 and 2, uh, B is surrendering 2 by 7. This is the sacrificing ratio. 5 by 49 and 4 by 49 is the sacrificing ratio. Did you understand? Okay. Now how to calculate new ratio? New ratio is very simple. Once you calculate the sacrificing ratio, new ratio is very simple. Old ratio minus sacrificing ratio. For A, what is the old ratio for A? See, it is 5 by 7. 5 by 7 is the old ratio. What is the sacrificing ratio? Here we have calculated. It is 5 by 49. Am I clear? Okay. Now, taking common LCM. 7, 7s are 49. Isn't it? So, 49 is the common denominator here. And if we have to convert the 7 into 49, what should we do? We should multiply it by 7. So, 5 into 7. 7 5s are 35 minus 5 is equal to 30 divided by 49. For B, the old ratio is here 2 by 7. 2 by 7 is the old ratio. What is the sacrificing ratio? We have calculated it here. It is... 4 by 49 is equal to 49 is the common LCM. So, if we have to convert this into 49, we should multiply it by 7. 7 twos are 14 minus 4. 14 minus 4 is 10 divided by 49. Now, C. Unlike the previous questions, in this question, uh, share of C is not given. Share of C is not given. 
so we have to calculate take the sacrificing ratio how much a is sacrificing and how much b is sacrificing totally the sacrifice of a and b goes to c so 5 by 49 a is sacrificing b is sacrificing 4 by 49 so totally total a plus b is taken by c so 5 plus 4 will give you 9 divided by 49. So I hope you understood this step. In the previous questions and all, the share of the new partner will be given. In this question, share of the new partner is not given. So what are we doing? We are adding the sacrificing ratio of A and B. Whatever A is sacrificing and whatever B is sacrificing, it combinedly goes to whom? It goes to C. Isn't it? So, the sacrificing ratio of A and B, if you add it, you will get C's share. Now, take the new ratio. The new ratio is equal to 30 is to 10 is to 9. So, in this video, I have explained you all the situations when a partner is admitted, what are the information given in the question and based on the information given, how to calculate the new ratio, new profit sharing ratio and how to calculate the sacrificing ratio. I have cal worked out for you. I have worked out all the situations. So I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.